Hey everyone, this is the Great Baxter here with my very first Mac Fix It video. <laughs> I know after months of no videos and silence on my channel, I am finally making videos again, and I am glad to be back doing this. It makes me happy. <laughs> um, now, for those of you who missed my channel update video, the uh, link will be down in the description. It's also going to be the featured video. It's right there, right when you open up my channel. Um, that video explains what's been going on, what's been happening, uh, what's going on with my current series, what I'm going to do, you know, because they're being dropped and that kind of stuff. Um, so go ahead, check that video out if you've been wondering what's going on. Um, if not, just go ahead and watch this video and we're going to do a fix it. <laughs> Alright, well the specific fix that we're going to be doing today is the Minecraft sound, the Minecraft pop sound. Uh, now, I've noticed when you upgrade to 10.8, which is mm, Apple's latest operating system, Mountain Lion, the pop sound tends to go away along with various other sounds to show you what's been going on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and launch Minecraft. Alright, and let's go ahead and log in here. And single player, and yes, I have a test world all set up here. Go ahead and let's play this. Okay, so I am going to show you guys before. This is before we apply the fix, what's been going on. And then I'm going to show you the difference after we apply the fix. Okay, so let's go ahead. The sounds that are missing right off the bat are when you come over here, I'm going to be silent, is when you walk on stone, you can't hear yourself. So I'm going to stop talking and listen closely. You see, it's there, but you can barely hear it. And then another problem is when you break blocks, like right here. You know, it kind of makes a sound, but it's not really well defined. You know, it's, it doesn't sound like it's supposed to. And then when you place like various other blocks, like stone, wood, quartz. They come over here, and then you place it, and it kind of makes this weird muffled sound like it's being strangled. <laughs> also, when you place torches down, it makes a weird muffled sound. You can't even hear it. <laughs> and yes, I wonder if you guys noticed my sign. I made a plank. You know, like walk the plank. You know, it's like you come over here and you jump into the water. Okay, so anyway, back to what I was explaining. <laughs> so yeah, you see, you really can't hear much. So what I, I was kind of like, no, because I used to play Mac on a Windows computer and then I used to be able to hear those sounds. And then when I got a Mac, they were there when I was on Lion, but as soon as I upgraded to Mountain Lion, they just all of a sudden went away. Now after much digging and searching through the internet and all powerful and all amazing Google, I have found Lefix. Yes, after that dramatic pause and an amazing snapshot I took of the forum that I found that I found it on the Minecraft forums. The link will be down in the description. Um, they were discussing how the pop sound was missing in Max. And then I... they... Oh, I cannot speak. Forgive me. What they said was they wanted you to update a weird named file. It's um, found in the LW something something JGL... I don't know. It's called the... Uh, why don't I just open up my browser and show you? <laughs> oh yes, here we go the LWJGL file. It's the lightweight Java game library. So what this essentially is, is it it's what Minecraft uses for graphics, sound, and input right there on the wiki. <laughs> and my guess is that when Apple updated to 10.8 Mountain Lion, something changed. And so the current um, old LWJGL file that they have in there Ooh, I said that really fast. <laughs> anyway, that they have in there just doesn't want to quite give you the sound like it's supposed to. So the updated file that we're going to be replacing will help fix that problem and give you your little pop sound back and make it sound like it's supposed to. <laughs> Alrighty, so the link for this page is the Minecraft wiki. It shows you how to update the LWJGL files. Um, now the only file that I'm going to replace is going to be the... Oh gosh, hold on. 
the openal.dylib file. I'll show you that in a minute. <laughs> I wouldn't replace any of the other ones because it can cause some glitches and I haven't really tested that out yet. So the only file that we're going to be replacing is the open day whatever whatever file which I'll show you in a sec. Alright so once you come to the wiki page you're going to want to go to the where to download right here. You're going to want to click on this link and then it's going to take you to the Lightweight Gaming Libraries website where you're going to want to go ahead and just download it. You're going to click on right here download the 2.8.5 version. Um, stay away from the nightly builds those are kind of in beta or alpha they're going to be a little bit unstable so go just go ahead and download 2 to 8.5 and then you're going to uh, come over here to your downloads folder I already have it right here you can or you can open go ahead and open up your finder and come to your downloads folder right here it's going to be in a zipped file you can just go ahead and open it with whatever extractor or unarchiver you see fit. Most of you guys are most likely going to have the archive utility. It's going to work just fine for this file. Or you can use the unarchiver, which is a little bit better than the archive utility. This is free on the App Store. You guys might want to take a look at it. It is awesome. Okay, so go ahead, open it up, extract it to wherever you see fit. It's going to give you a file. All right, so go ahead, open it up. And then all these other files, the only one you're going to want to concern yourself with is the native file for Mac OS X. Oop, don't click on that. And then the file that we're going to be replacing right here, like I said, is the openal.dylib. This is the little bugger that's pre preventing, you know, little pop sounds from showing. <laughs> okay. So the way to replace this file is to go into your Minecraft folder. I have that on my favorites, but if you don't have it on your favorites, uh, you want to get to your application support folder. Now you can either go to go and then go to folder and then you can type this in a little squiggly mark uh, dash or whatever that line is library you know slash slash there we go application support you can either do that or you can go down here to go hold down your option key and it will show you the library I don't know why Apple hid that, but alrighty, <laughs> just go ahead and open, hold down the option key and just click on that. And then you want to find your Minecraft folder. Minecraft folder. Oh, oops. You want to find your application support folder, then you want to find your Minecraft folder. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Here's Minecraft. Alright. Now you want to go into your bin folder and then into your natives folder. Alright, and then there's that pesky little file we're going to be replacing. So go ahead go ahead and uh, open up a new finder window. And then come down here to where we downloaded the LWJG whatever files. Go into your native folder, Mac OS X. And then go ahead and you can either back this file up or you can just move it to your desktop. So that way if you know something goes wrong you can always just put it back. And then just go ahead and plop that sucker right in there. And then that's it. You are good to go. All right, so I'm going to keep this right here just in case something goes wrong. And then to um, also a little hint here. If you go inside your Minecraft folder a lot, like if you do a lot of uh, modding or things like that, you might want to drag this file over to your favorites so that way you can quickly access it. You can just click it, and you're good to go right there. All right, so let's see if this fixed it. Let's go ahead and open up Minecraft again. Here we go. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, and cross everything else. Mojang. Okay, so let's see if this fixes it. Single player, sound test world. Sweet. All right, so this was before. As you can see, we still got that. Okay, so go ahead, get our torches, stone. Oak wood, that kind of stuff. Okay, so. Alright, so the first thing you're going to notice is. Yes, you can hear the torches! They sound like torches! Also, you can place. You can hear that sound that wasn't evident before. You can also break it. You can hear it, and when you come over to the plank. <laughs> I like my sign. And when you come over to the plank. Yes, you can hear it. And also, which I forgot to demonstrate last time, but oh well, I'm going to demonstrate now. The pop sound is back. <laughs> it sounds awesome. 
All right, guys. Well, that was the Minecraft pop sound and other missing sounds fix, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save and uh, quit. Alrighty. But yeah, that's about it. So if it, everything else seems to be working, just go ahead and you can move this to the trash and you are good to go. All right, guys, this is the great Baxter with my very first Mac Fix -It video. <laughs> I can't believe I finally got it working. I, I really miss the pop sounds. But yes, um, look forward to on Friday, I will be uploading my first playthrough of Luigi's Mansion in HD. Check that out. You're going to love it. Luigi's Mansion is awesome. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the great Baxter here, wishing you all have a wonderful day.